Who is God? Let me share with you some Bible text that reveals who God is. Let us open in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 from the King James Version Bible. It says here, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Surely He is the Creator, the only true God. Now, if we go to the next chapter in chapter 2, and we read in verse 26, there is this uh, revelation that God is not alone, that God is communicating. Because the next verse tells us so. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. The question in so many minds is that why is it that there is now a plural conversation? But remember, God still declares and maintains that He is one. It's not God's, it's God. But this time, God, singular, is communicating to another being because God uses the word in English translated us. So therefore, it could be more than one. There are people who are guessing, but I will not guess. I would like the Bible to interpret itself. If you open your Bibles to the book of Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 4, the wisest king who ever lived, blessed by God, the only true God, has this to say. And it's in a rhetorical question. As most people know, this could not be answered by pointing to a human being, but this is pointing to God. Let's read it from, again, King James Version Bible. Who hath ascended up into heaven, or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his feast? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? Surely the wisest king, as these proverbs were read throughout the people of Israel, knows who he's talking about. They believe in the one true God. And he had given us a glimpse, a revelation of who he is with during the creation, his son. It is likely probable that Jesus was the son of God in the beginning and talking to his father who is the only true God. And that is where I could confidently say Proverbs 30 verse 4 is a witness to this conversation. There is one God and he gave this conversation with his son so that all people who read the Bible will not be confused. Who is God? Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4 comes to mind. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one Lord. Who is God? God is love, according to 1 John 4, 7 and 8. Who is God? John 17 verse 3, And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Who is God? John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And you might still wonder, so God can be known through the book of Revelation or the Bible as a whole, how come there is this mystery that they are saying? Well, the learned man would like to be skeptical, would like to place God in their own imagination. But the Bible does not imagine things. The Bible say things. Let's read from 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 2. If we can say, uh, who is like unto God is a question. So 1 Samuel chapter 1, 
a chapter two, I mean verse two, and it says, "There is none holy as the Lord," meaning that's the title of God. For there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. There's only one God. If you go to the witness of Paul in the New Testament, First Corinthians chapter eight, verse six has this to witness. And I like to read it for clarity and for um, uh, defined purposes. But to us, there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in Him, and one Lord Jesus, by whom are all things, and we by Him. Isn't that a very clear statement that there is only one God and He has a Son? Ephesians chapter 4 verse 6 magnifies this. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. And in the book of Revelation, chapter 22 verse 3, it says there, And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and His servant shall serve him all throughout the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation a plethora of revelation not mystery but revealed that there is one God and he has a son the problem with human mind is it stretches skepticism so friends I would like you to believe in the words of God so that you will be established and you'll be able to know who God is only by the witness of his word. May God bless you and his son keep you today.